As part of their coronation coverage, the BBC interviewed Professor David Olasoga, who appeared as a talking head on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix documentary series and has been openly critical of the UK's colonialist past. The professor, who teaches at the University of Manchester, told the broadcaster that King Charles may struggle to modernize the royals and the question of monarchy is up for discussion, although he wished the king well in his reign. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. Since his ascension to the throne, Charles has made clear his desire for the monarchy to reflect today's society, although his lavish coronation still incorporated many traditional elements. Mr. Olasoga told the BBC, now a new reign formally begins, lots of questions about the monarchy and his role are up for discussion as they always are and always have been. There's only so much you can modernize a thousand-year-old ceremony without it stopping being that ceremony. To an extent, you can't modernize the monarchy because it is a monarchy. That hereditary principle is one that many people will never be comfortable with but the majority of our fellow citizens in 2023 are comfortable with this being the way we choose a head of state. They revel in the ceremonies and the tradition. I'd like to think that he'll find ways of modernizing the royal family but I do think it's a challenge. He added that he wished the king well in his endeavors to modernize the institution, admitting that after a year with three prime ministers, the Republican movement had not made the best case for an alternative. Millions of people across the world tuned in to see King Charles and Queen Camilla be crowned during a historic ceremony at Westminster Abbey, with some camping out on the mall to ensure a good view of the royal processions. Their patience was eventually rewarded when the royal family appeared on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the RAF fly past and waved to the massive crowds gathered. The King and Queen were joined on the balcony by Prince William and Princess Kate, their children Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh and their children Lady Louise and James, Earl of Wessex, Princess Anne and her husband Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, and some lesser known royal faces as well. A professional lip reader has since revealed what the royals were saying to each other during their 10-minute balcony appearance. They told Express.co.uk that Charles warned his wife about not getting too close to the edge, saying, I mustn't get too close. Or I might give myself a fright. Be careful. Don't miss. Lipreader details exactly what the royals said on the palace balcony, latest, the coronation's spellbinding reflection of faiths and tradition, analysis, young royals steal the show and our hearts at the king's coronation, spotlight, meanwhile, Camilla gave orders to the children, telling the boys to move forward and to come nearer. Once the initial shock had subsided, the king marveled at the spectacle waving at the adoring crowd saying, it's wonderful, this is. During the fly past Charles wanted to make sure everyone had a good view, asking, is everyone here? They're coming in on the right. However little Prince Louis did not seem to be quite so interested in the occasion as he began drumming on the balcony and singing da da to himself. i